What's up, guys? So what we have in front of us is Court Composer, which is made by Intuitive Audio, a company that's out of the United Kingdom, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the link will be in the description box of where you can get it if you are a Mac user because it has already been released for Mac. But this is a beta from Windows users, and I am a Windows user, and I am able to use it right now by signing up for their mailing list. So please do that because they will offer you a special deal if you like the trial or the beta and it, it is successful. So that's why I'm here and testing out for everybody. And I want to see, you know, how much better this would be uh, versus all the other music theory plugins that are out and, you know, see how good it is because I've been impressed by the video that they released. So setting it up, of course, NFL is a little different from other dolls, but you know, they have information on how to set up with your DAW on the site, but I'm going to show you how to set up an NFL. Of course, you know, if you do not see this stuff right here, then you need to click on this nut sign. And then, you know, you just go ahead to the plug nut sign and select your output port because you want to output the MIDI because it does not uh, output sound itself. And then, you, of course, you want to plug in of some type that that has sound and you want to be able to use that. So I'm going to go and do the exact same thing over here, except I'm going to select input because I want it to receive sound. And that's about it. So it's already set up here. Uh, Core Composer does a lot of good stuff. Um, of course, a lot of things are going to be about the same as any other music theory plugin. But you can select your root key. Of course, I'm cool with a, a, a. So I'm going to go with the root key of A. And, you know, you can see all the other root keys that you have here. Uh, and then you also have, uh, of course, your mode or your scale that you want to be in and yeah major minor dorian phrygian lydian mixolydian and alien and lacorian uh lo uh, locian or uh, locrian my bad so yeah i know what people are gonna talk just have fun in the conversation yeah i know i know how y'all do but anyway so you know i'm gonna just keep it a major for right now and then of course you can select different scales like fifth seventh ninth 11th or 13th so i'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the default and you can set the inversion of course to either your root first second third fourth and etc and you can select extras where we get all kinds of other crazy stuff and then you have your octaves here uh, after you set everything up of course you want to hit create chord but there are other options that i will get into a little later that can change the game here I do have it set to eight bars right now, but you can go ahead and you can set it to like anywhere to four bars to 16 bars as far as your progression goes. And you also can change the way you quantize it. Uh, you can go one, one, you can go one, eight, one, 16, one, 32, of course, and so forth. I'm going to go back to one, eight here. Uh, you can set the humanizing that which is cool and you can set the velocity as well those are things that you could do that are off top i already like that it's already first hand in the front of the whole gy so create a chord boom so we have the chord let's hear it So we already have something that's pretty lit. Um, with, with that, of course, you know, if you was one of those guys that like to just drag and drop and edit stuff, you can. Of course, it's right here, so you just drag and drop it. It, it works in FL, so it'll probably work in every other doll. Uh, the, uh, the same here. And, you know, you can play with different, play or hear it with a different sound. So yeah, that, now that we have that, I was hearing that with the, in, the impulse rise sound. Okay, cool. This. So yeah, so you have that as well. And I noticed that my that my channels are muted, but it's still playing audio. That's weird. Anyways, I uh whatever. So I'm testing it out here. Anyways, and it's in it's in beta. So you know some certain things would be will act weird it's not expected to be 100 percent perfect that's the point of a beta is to test it 
All right, so you have other things, of course. You can set your different options up so you can do different things where you can select the type. Like, you might want to start off with an A suspended uh, 2, uh, suspended 4. And I don't want to do any of that because I don't think any of that stuff would be cool. I'm going to go right back over here to M. Uh, of course, you can set up your inversions. And, of course, you have your extras where you can set up different stuff as well. And, as you can see, is it was being implemented on the piano roll right here, which is another great touch of Chord Composer, uh, in opposed to a lot of other ones. I do know about Captain Chorus, guys. I, I do know that. But, however, there's one thing that uh, this does that Captain Chords doesn't do right now as at least and as you can see you can edit your limps so that is pretty freaking cool so you can edit at will you can also change uh, different chords or different scale or whatever I mean different chords on the fly so we're gonna go ahead and do that three we're gonna go ahead up here to a fourth note No, I'm not going to use that. And we can just swap it out. So, yeah, you could do some pretty cool stuff with this off top here. And you can also use these nodes if you want to change it that way. Clicking on it and clicking on it again will select and deselect it. And the reason why that it does that is because, of course, you can change velocities and you can humanize and quantize and stuff like that, which uh, doesn't affect when you do highlight it, which is weird. But yeah, you can change your you can change like the velocity and the humanizing of it. Uh, one cool feature that it has here is I move on to the next screen. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Let me go ahead and talk about a, a quick pattern gener uh, generator where you can choose whatever uh, rhythm you want on the fly here. So you can randomize, then choose the note gaps. Uh, maybe you might want to do two half quarters. That is sick, man. So basically, you can remix stuff on the fly. Maybe maybe you, you you like that chord progression off top here, and then you can just go ahead and just hit quick pattern generator and just go ham, you know, that way or whatnot. Uh, chord player. Now we're going to talk about that. Chord player allows you to play chords, like, on your MIDI keyboard. You know, so, you know, if your MIDI keyboard doesn't have built-in scales or anything like that, you can do that. And I'm going to go ahead and just enlarge uh, the the cam so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, I have it on right now, but I'm just gonna go. Uh, I have it on so you can see. Of course, and now I'm gonna go ahead and clear that dope stuff that I just put here. Uh, one of the features that I have tested out uh, prior to this, and it, it may not just work. It may not work with this particular doll yet, but. Uh, you can record, of course. Uh, recording will involve you setting up your DAW uh, to already generate what you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and press the record button on, in FL on the transport. And then press play. see and then hitting record again uh, it's supposed to uh, leave what you just did there 
But sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. You know, that's something weird. Maybe just, I don't know. But yeah. You do know that, well, at least you know that you're able to do whatever, oops, that you can here. And of course you can, uh, within the core player, you can set uh, different uh, notes again <clears throat> and inversions and your extras, of course. You, you have a pattern generator and your pattern generator will generate patterns due to however your core progression goes. As you can see, it's represented right here. So you can see what you got going on. So you can get some really interesting stuff. Of course, you can set like uh, what, how long you want your patterns to be. And you can set if you want rest or how you want your rest to be like. Maybe not in one one though. Uh, oh, and uh, I'll do one one. Choose that pat. Choose this pattern right here. Uh, this one's on. Awesome. You have your velocity options, of course. And you know you can just highlight over whatever you want, set them, and then you can select uh, your how human you want it to uh, sound. And of course, then you you know you have your pattern options. Again, you can you have pretty much the same uh, options uh, per whatever you want. So that is pretty cool. I mean, that's <laughs> one of the things I really really like about this. <clears throat> uh, you also can adjust this. You, this. Uh, particular part here let me go ahead and shrink me down here there we go uh, this particular part is uh, very interesting again you still have all your options to to draw stuff out and you know have whatever you uh, like and then of course you can addition it Sorry about that. I was just checking out different sounds with this progression. Um, you know, of course. And, and again, you can drag and drop. I, I want to make sure that everybody knows that you can drag and drop stuff, of course. So if you really like it, you can just boom, just put it in there and then play with it the way you want to play with it within your own piano roll that you're more accustomed to. And of course, you know, within your own piano roll, uh, you can set, set up stuff in FL at least. Where you have scale highlighting and you know boom and uh a major oops um, i do apologize you because you can right click on this and then set like you know your a major that way so the screen so it doesn't close and then you can just play on on and have fun uh with your melody there uh, progression stacker, uh, from what I know, you basically are, are able to take like whatever progression that you have and you can copy and paste it. Uh, I, within this beta version, I was having a little bit of an issue. So it says click to copy and then, you know, I don't know it. Uh, okay. It didn't do it that time. That's weird. Well, that's good. Yeah. So I don't know, it's probably a matter of what you want to pasta. Oh, so and then you can just keep on going as far as you want. <clears throat> Copy. <laughs> I, but anyways, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Uh because it is pretty good. I, I really like it. Uh, it's a lot of positives I like about it, of course. Uh, not nothing really I can complain about. Uh, you do have factory presets if you if you're one of those factory preset type people that have to have it that way. Hmm. So you can you can adjust up here, uh, exploring the settings here. Chord edition on, uh, piano roll marker on. 
scaling factor 100%. Yeah, there is a, a scale factor. So if this is too small for you and you got like a 4K, whatever, uh, you can scale it up. And let's see. Yeah, there we go. Because I'm sitting here with the beady eyes. You know, I'm old. That's the joke. But uh, tell me how you feel. Also, the link is in the description box, guys. So just uh, another reminder for those who are are still with me on this. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. So, yeah. I'm out.